Good morning everyone. I am so psyched right now. I am just doing the last of my morning pet chores and then we are on our way to the 2016 Canadian Pet Expo. I've actually been up since 5 a.m. because I just woke up and was so pumped about today <laughs> that I couldn't get back to sleep. So Mr. BB and I are going to be heading out the door in just a few minutes. We're also going to pick up my sister-in-law who is en route to the International Center where the Pet Expo is being held. Where we are also meeting up with Skinny Pigs One and Sherwood Small Pets who I consider very good friends and I've hung out with both of them before but they actually haven't met each other yet. So that's really exciting as well. So it is a bit of a trek for us but this is one of my favorite pet shows of the entire year and the reason that I love this one so much is because there is something for everyone. As you guys know I am a multi-pet household. I just love all animals in general, even ones that I don't have like reptiles. So I love that this pet show is literally everything. There's exotics, there's small pets, uh, there's birds, there's cats, there's dogs, there's rescues, there's reputable breeders, and there are lots of vendors. So I love looking for those unique vendors that you may not have heard about but have great products. We're always on the hunt for something cool and fun and different for our pets.
filming it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, these guys are so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she loves actually um, belly rubs. Oh, so yeah. you can go over and give her a belly rub. <laughs> everyone it's been a really long day but we had a great time at the pet expo um, unfortunately this year I didn't quite find uh, the sales or a large variety of unique items one year there was a great small animal shop from the docks and they just had the coolest stuff and I absolutely loved it and this year I really stuck to the Piggles rescue booth for the most part where Zoe and Lilo's toy box was um, the guinea pig store and Canadian chinchilla rescue um, That was really where I found the best small pet toys It was really exciting for me as well because I've never had the opportunity to really purchase from Zoe and Lilo's toy box So she had a lot of great selection there So I thought that I'd just show you guys a mini haul at the end of this video of the items that I did pick up because I am really excited about them so these two were just from a different vendor that was selling mostly different dog and cat beds. They were originally $18.99, but they were on sale at the pet show for $8. So for $8, that's why I couldn't pass them up. They are perfect bunny size. Now, I don't expect them to last very long. Honey especially loves to dig and chew a little on her bedding. Um, but that's why for $8 each I didn't think it was a big deal and they look really cozy and plushy as well So I'm gonna save them for fall since it's getting warmer now Because I find in the cooler months that the rabbits really enjoy having something snugly to curl up in So the rest of the items that I picked up were at the Piggles rescue booth um, This was from Kathy's the guinea pig store. I'll leave the links to these stores down below in the description box for you as well they're great Canadian online stores to check out. But Living World Green was a brand that I was really, really excited about because everything was all natural. I did some reviews on them because Hagen was kind enough to send us items from them. I loved their food. 
but unfortunately it's been discontinued. I don't know if it's been discontinued in all of Canada, but in Ontario especially, we can't find it anywhere anymore and every store that we've talked to has discontinued the line, which was really unfortunate. But Kathy still had one of these seagrass tunnels and because this weekend we also gained a few exciting new additions to the house, I really wanted something to give them to play with. If you follow my Instagram for the smaller furries, which is Animal Crackers, uh, as well as our Facebook page, Animal Crackers, then you will know exactly who I'm talking about. But this I think I got for $20, and it's the perfect size for guinea pigs, as well as the fact that it's fully edible and natural. So the rest of the items that we picked up from the pet show were from Zoe and Lilo's toy box. She mostly does guinea pig and chinchilla natural toys and cozies. However, if they're safe for guinea pigs, then they're going to be great for rabbits as well. So I actually picked up these two little vine chewies and I thought they would be great for the rabbits to be able to nibble on and toss around because they're lightweight, but they're also all natural as well. I also got this hanging chew toy. It's got what looks like some peeled willow, some palm leaf little flowers, and some wooden chews. So I thought this would be great to hang in one of the rabbit's cages. And since I have two bunny pens, I also picked up this other chew toy. So it's comprised of a lot of the same stuff like the palm leaf and the peeled willow and wooden pieces. This one also has some little cardboard pieces that bunnies love to chew on as well. So I plan on hanging one of each of these in the bunny pens. And then I also got this really cute palm flower hanging garland. It's got little clasps on each end and I thought it would be really cute to hang along the back of the guinea pig cage. So I picked that one up for the piggies. And of course a pet day wouldn't be complete without a trip to PetSmart. We needed to pick up some Oxbow guinea pig and rabbit food and Mr. BB actually picked out this natural bird toy by All Living Things. Um, it's made of like a little coconut house and then a little log bridge and you can hang it from both ends. This would actually be great as a hamster toy as well. I'm actually thinking I might pick one up for Rory. But the intention of it was to put in his cage, but I'm thinking it might be just as fun to hang it in his, he has a um, play area in the corner of my office. So I might hang it from there instead as well, but Beaker absolutely loves to nibble on things, so I feel like the coconut's gonna be a big hit with him. So that was just a peek into our day at the Pet Expo. We had so much fun. It was so great meeting up with Sherwood's Small Pets and Skinny Pigs One. If you don't already subscribe to their channels, make sure to check them out and click the subscribe button, as well as find some really cool and unique goodies for the small furries. That is all for now, and thanks for watching, bye. And just a reminder that rabbits are the third most abandoned animal at shelters, so please adopt, don't shop.